Before adding equipment and piping to a model in Plan 3D, don't skip this important step. These items have to be placed somewhere, so the program includes tools to help you create structural members, platforms, and more. You can use other Autodesk applications such as AutoCAD Architecture or Revit to create buildings that are referenced to a model. Before you begin to create your model, let's take a minute to review the structural component features. The first step is to review the structural settings. From the Structure tab, Parts panel, click Settings. Select Member Settings first. The program comes with a complete library of shapes based on industry standards, including AISC, CISC, and more. You can filter between shape types and sizes. Click Cancel to close this dialog. Next, select the railing settings. From this dialog, you can define the geometry and shape of the railings which can be placed around platforms, along stairs, and more. Click Cancel. Under Settings, select Footing Settings. This is where you can define geometry and materials used to make a footing based on industry standards such as ASTM. Click Cancel. Let's take a look at the stair settings. This dialog lets you set the geometry and shape of the stair components. You can use member shapes that are defined as member styles for the steps and stair frame. Click Cancel. The last setting to review is the ladder settings. There are two tabs in the dialog. The first helps you define the ladder's type, geometry, frame, and rung shape. If you need to include a cage, there's a tab for that. Click it to include the cage and define its geometry. Click Cancel. Once you adjust the settings, start by defining a grid. After the grid is placed, use structural members to define the frame and footings for support. Next, add the plates to create any flat surfaces for platforms. Since you'll need ways to get up and down on the platform, add stairs, railings, and ladders. Once the structural components are in place, use the Modify tools to edit or explode a structure. You can use the cutting tools to trim, miter, lengthen, or restore members as needed. Personally, I like to model the structure in a separate file, and then reference it into a process model. But, if the job is small enough, I'd keep them both in the same file. Now that you've had a chance to review the process, you're ready to start adding your own structural components. Thank you.